here today I'm going to replace the screen on this Oppo phone. I've never done an Oppo phone before, so it's a new experience for me. We'll give it a go. So I've got my heater out here over here, set 50 degrees. I'm going to put the phone on there just to try and soften up because the back is glued on, the front is glued on. So you have to warm it up a little bit, get the back off so you can get the battery out and then you can start stripping the phone down. Warming this up a little bit first will be a useful thing. So let's get that warming up. I'm going to let heat it just for a couple of minutes there. Maybe a minute, just a little bit of time to get it going. There we go. I'm in there already. Just got to basically cut through this edge because there's adhesive down the inside here, see? Like this, got to cut that through that. There we go. So there's a strip there. It's coming out. There we go. There's the back off. We'll get this battery out. Got a bunch of screws to take out as well. I think those two will come out as well. I'm not sure. Let's take them out anyway. Yeah, all the screws are exactly the same, which is brilliant. That's nice. Not an Apple device, is it? And I've got three screws here, which are around this underneath this bezel for the camera. They're undone. Hopefully, that's not a problem. Now, I'll we'll try and get this bezel off once I get this sim ejected out. I need a sim ejection tool. So just long enough that one. Maybe we'll get this bezel off. It's kind of clipped on so it's not too bad, but still get it out. There you go. Look, there was a hidden screw, there's a little white dot there, a hidden screw underneath it. Now we're in business. Let's get it to here to pop off so we get the bezel out of the way. There's a the battery. And we'll also need to take off the flex for this. this is the screen here, that one there. The battery connector there. That was where the flex was for the bezel, and this is the one for the screen. Now we'll get the battery out so we can get the screen cable out. It's got a nice pull tab, but this thing's stuck in really hard. I'll come back once I get it out. Well, I've got the battery shifting. I managed to get it lifted off a little bit. There's the battery. I have to lift the whole thing out because of the flex underneath. So we'll get this out, hopefully without ripping these flexes, because it's all stuck across it. That's always fun. So I just warmed this up a bit more and managed to get this to start peeling. There we go, that's as far as we actually need to go with it. Because we've got to get this flex here out. I might, just, I might just take this right out, it's going to be a pain. Oh, there we go, it's out of the way now. So I peel this flex up, this is the one for the screen. Get this up, then we can lift the screen out, hopefully, once I warm it up some more. Now, yeah, we'll get the screen warmed up and get it peeled off. Got that under the screen just here. So we're looking pretty good there. It's actually coming off really easy. It wasn't actually much holding this thing on. Okay, there's the old screen. And here is a replacement. So we've got screen protectors and stuff in here, which I'll put on afterwards. I'm guessing these are instructions, are they? Hello, friend. Yes, oh, thank you for buying products here, yeah, whatever. Anyway, there's the screen. So that should be the same as this one. If it's not, we've got a problem. <laughs> it looks the same. That's good. What I've got to do now is clean up all inside the edge in here. Because it's got debris and dust and stuff in here, all over the camera. i will clean all this up, and then I can put the new screen on. All right, let's try and glue the screen in. Cleaned up all the bezel edge, then we'll see how we go with this. Now, there was almost nothing holding that screen in. I was actually quite surprised. There's only a couple of little bits which is actually holding it before, so for whatever reason, it didn't have much holding it in. That's why I was surprised how easily it came out. Just a little bit here, tiny little bee, tiniest little bit. 
put some bit of glue around it. Let's put it on. Just like that. And fold the flex down here. Get it pushed into that corner. Should sit down nicely. It should. <laughs> fold this back. Now I can refit the battery. It's all still sticky, so I don't have to do anything here. Now these cameras have got a bit of dirt on them as well from me messing around with it. Let's give this a bit of a wipe. So now basically you have to reverse the process. I'll put the bezel back on and put the screws back in again. And we should be basically done. Have to clamp it shut somehow. That would be interesting in itself. Press that one in. Just plug the battery in. I've got a feeling someone has been here before me. I don't think I'm the first person in here. Alright, let's put the screws in. Brilliant design when I actually use the same screw across everything. Now I took these two screws out here before. Didn't actually need to do that. I put them back in again already. And once I'm actually done, I will glue the backpack on again. I'll test it before I refit the back though. Okay, that should hopefully power up. It does. And we have a working screen. Great, I'm just going to let this boot up and I'll just make sure the swipe and stuff works on it. Then I shall clamp it shut, make sure that it all sets nicely and is bedded down properly. I'm going to clean some of the gunk out here as well before I put the backpack on again. That's right, there's no SIM card. That's fine, that's working. Okay. Power off. Excellent, that's good. So I uh, refitted the back panel, I did the same thing, had to be glued back on again. Cleaned up all the bits of debris, like you know, the foam that's holding it on before. And uh, so I glued that on as well, and around this edge. So the camera's sealed as well, around the back side of this bezel of the camera. Got a bit of glue on here, I have to clean it all up afterwards. I don't have actually have like a proper clamp or anything like that, and because it's got this camera protruding on the back, you can't just put like a flat weight on it to hold it down. This doesn't work, so elastic bands around it. It's clamping it shut quite nicely, and I'll leave that for a while, let the glue set up, and that'll be done. Better give it back. Check out my other videos down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you want to help me to buy this test gear to fix the things like that to do videos about. Catch you later.